Did you know that more than 80% of toads return to the pond in which they were born in order to breed? And why am I out here on a damp, rainy, mild evening, you might ask? It's all to rescue these little chaps and chapesses from the dangers of roads. Hi, Wendy again here. So what, I hear you ask, are you doing out on a night like this, moving toads off roads? Well, we've lost a lot of ponds in our landscape and our landscape is also crisscrossed by lots of roads. So imagine being a toad and you're hibernating perhaps half a mile away from where you breed. That's a very dangerous journey to get back and on such little legs. Now I'm here at one of our toad crossing ponds. As well as being a member of staff of Worcestershire Wildlife Trust, I also volunteer for Frog Life and they coordinate the Toads on Roads campaign. So on nights like this, volunteers across the country come out to help toads cross roads and get to their breeding ponds. This is sometimes easier said than done. Sometimes, like here, there's a pond just behind me, it's really obvious where the toads are going. But other times there are ponds on both sides of the road and it can get quite confusing. Now, my phone isn't good enough to pick it up, but there's a beautiful frog chorus going on behind me. And there is a difference between the sounds that frogs and toads make. Frogs make a deep croak noise and toads make a oh, squeaky noise. There are other differences too. Toads have a watery skin and tend to be brown, although they can be mottled. And frogs have much longer legs, so they tend to hop, whereas toads crawl. Now, if you're out and about in the dark on mild, damp evenings at this time of year, please keep an eye out for toads on the roads. And if you know that there's a toad crossing near you, then please register it with Frog Life. If you'd like to help toads and frogs and newts, you can always, if you've got the space, pop a pond in your garden. Toads like really deep and established ponds, but you might very well get frogs and newts making their home there. Well, that's all from me for this week. I'll see you again soon. Bye.